What is cracking my yeah, hunters and huntresses? It's Ren Creates. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to perform the infinite cannon shoot glitch. I'm still working on the name. I don't even know. It's been out for long enough. Just the infinite cannon glitch will work. It's very easy to do, a matter of fact. And I believe it was found a couple months ago. A lot because of CMY Info's video on it. It is yeah, incredible. Is Guys, Bloodborne does not ever stop amazing me. And I'm just so thankful for the community that we have behind it. So if you're a part of the Bloodborne community, a huge heartfelt thank you. Honestly, I wish I could play more, but I just don't have as much time as I used to. Which is for the slow on the channel. But you know what? That's for another time. Let's get into how to do it right away. Very, very simplistic and easy to do. Far easier than the automatic repo glitch from Dark Souls 3. It's not only easier to obtain all the things you need, but it's even easier to do. So essentially we're doing a moveset swap. You gotta have the Whirly Gig Saw in your right hand, like usual, and the Cannon in your left hand. I don't know if you need the specific amount of ammo, usually 12 Quicksilvers to do it. Haven't tested that, but just to be sure, make sure you have that ammo on hand. But thankfully, this actually isn't going to be using any ammunition like in Dark Souls 3. So you can do this essentially as many times as you want as long as you don't mess it up. And it's very consistent as well. So, what we have to do is you're going to trick weapon your Whirly Gigs. Also, it has a pizza cutter out. You are going to make sure that you are within range of the enemy that you want to use it in or the boss. And I recommend medium to close range if you can. And what you're going to try to do is do the weapon art, I believe it's the L2, and you are going to do its weapon art where there's a whirly gig thing, and as you're doing that weapon art, you are going to quickly unequip it and press and hold down on your shoot button for the cannon, and you are going to pump this every mm, 0 0.5 seconds or just every cannon shot, so boom, boom, boom like so and if you do it consistently you will get an infinite cannon it's very easy it's gonna take you a bit of time to get it down but you should have it down within maybe five minutes if even it's very simplistic once you know how to do it um the reason why i'm telling you guys to stay in range of this weapon is because if you don't and you have to move which is possible it's very difficult to be consistent with it if you try moving you might end up accidentally messing up your timing and your rhythm which is the main way that you keep doing the glitch just might end up messing it up it's happened to me when i was fighting bloodstar beast with this he was blown up flying all around the place and i messed up quite a few times so keep that in mind but you shouldn't have too much trouble against bosses that don't fly all around the place and usually you can destroy them in about a eh, minute tops so yeah now i could end the video here but if you're a new hunter and huntress let's just take a quick look at the locations um we'll start with the jar cannon, <laughs> jar cannon. We will start with the cannon, which I'll show you guys how to do a cool little glitch here. So a lot of you guys might know this glitch where we have to grab the wolf boy here and we're gonna bring him up to this gate that usually is locked where we wanna bait the grab glitch. Now the, now the grab does have to be exactly forward facing the gate. If it's not, it's a little bit off. You might not end up having it work. So you might wanna position him towards the middle of the area and then kite him over that's what i did you also need to make sure your character is looking the other way and is as close against the wall as possible if he's the closer the better and the more straight the better so when he does eventually grab you you're going to mash all of your triggers and your l and r button that way you can get out as fast as possible without dying if you're doing this like on a base hp character but once you've done that, you should be able to successfully get through. It's a lot easier than you think. Now just let the video play out where it's on fast forward to how to get to the location of the jar cannon. Or cannon.
So now for the DLC weapon, which is the Whirly Gig Saw. If it wasn't obvious already, you need to have the DLC, but I think up to this point, a lot of you guys probably already have that for the full Bloodborne experience. In order to get to the DLC, you need to defeat Vicar Amelia. I actually have a video on how to get infinite Blood Echoes in Bloodborne I released this year. I highly recommend checking that video out after this one if you're new to the game. But essentially, you'll beat Vicar Amelia. You'll interact with the Lawrence Skull. You'll go back to the Hunter's Dream, pick up the Blood Drunk Hunter Eye. And then after that, you're going to make your way over to the Amygdala where you picked up the Hunter's Outfit by the Cathedral Ward. And then from there, you're going to be at the Old Hunter's CLC. So I'm just going to let this part play out like usual and fast forward and best of luck. So, there you guys go. You should have everything you need now to perform the glitch and the know-how. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Also, subscribe to the notification bell if you want more content like this. Check out the Dark Souls glitches playlist. Also, I have an Elden Ring playlist on the channel too if you want to check that out. Thank you very much. Um, there's a Discord server if you guys need any help with any glitches or want to talk to me in specific. And, I do have memberships. You don't have to, but there were perks. <laughs> I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Good luck, Connors.